Hello students I hope you all are fit and fine at home Welcome in geography class day 1 Today we are going to start with the new chapter chapter number 5 minerals Let's discuss big picture of this lesson In this lesson we will discuss introduction of minerals extraction of minerals types of mining in which we will discuss surface mining and underground mining then types of minerals in which we will discuss metallic minerals and non metallic minerals next distribution of minerals uses of minerals and conservation of minerals in today's class we will read about introduction of minerals extraction of minerals types of mining in which we will discuss surface mining and underground mining so children at the end of the today's topic we will be able to know about meaning of minerals and different types of mining now let's discuss terms of today's topic number 1 minerals means the substances that we get from the earth surface number 2 ore means the crude form of minerals number 3 mining means the process of digging out minerals from the earth crust number 4 surface mining means mining done on the shallow depth of the earth and last number 5 underground mining means mining done on the extreme depth of the earth now children i am going to give introduction of minerals minerals are natural occurring solid substances composed of chemical elements which have been formed by geological process they are basic and essential raw materials in our daily lives and also for economic social and technological development in simple words we can say that minerals are the backbone of our modern lifestyle now students take out page number 56 of your book chapter number 5 minerals here minerals means the substances that we get from the earth surface now let's start reading in our day to day life we use various things which are made up of metal here various means different metals are the substances that are extracted from different minerals students mark this line this is the definition of metals here substances means materials and extracted means taken out next thus we can say that minerals are the backbone of our modern and luxurious lifestyle here luxurious means rich in the present industrial age minerals are considered as the sign of prosperity and development here considered means observed and prosperity means wealth students in simple words we can say minerals are frequently used to create the materials which used in the construction of roads buildings and manufacturing of electronics and other devices it means minerals are very important in human life next minerals have played a significant role in early civilizations also it is reflected from the fact that many stages in the human history of economic development are named after minerals for example bronze age iron age etc these ages are followed by coal petroleum and nuclear age therefore minerals are necessary part of our lives children mark the word significant significant means important then reflected means considered 
minerals are link between rise of mankind and civilization their importance has been repeatedly documented by archaeologists who have named the ages of mankind on the basis of the materials used by society like copper age iron age etc next minerals are the homogeneous naturally occurring substances with a definable internal structure here homogeneous means similar now let's read further minerals are found in various forms ranging from the hardest diamond to the softest talc this is because of minerals are formed in the earth crust after million of years hence the duration of formation of minerals also lead to different forms of minerals next minerals are extracted from different rocks even the rocks are the combination of minerals in rocks minerals are found in the form of ore and ore is a naturally occurring material having one or more minerals in sufficient concentration mixed with other elements students mark this line here ore means the crude form of minerals here sufficient concentration means enough collection here the question rises what is an ore an ore is a natural occurring substance that has enough collection of one or more minerals mixed with other elements so students basically we get minerals from different rocks and these minerals are found in rocks in the form of ore now next we will read extraction of minerals here extraction means taken out so let's start reading the economic activity of extraction of minerals from the rocks is called mining students mark this line here economic means related with money so student mining means the process of digging out minerals from the earth crust next mining is one of the oldest occupations of human beings here occupations means work like agriculture mining is a primary activity of man here primary means main broadly mining can be of two types number 1 surface mining and number 2 underground mining so basically there are two types of mining surface mining and underground mining so students next we will discuss these two types of mining now take out your page number 57 of your book first type of mining is surface mining here surface mining means mining done on the shallow depth of the earth now let's start reading it is also known as open cast mining children mark the line here other name of surface mining is open cast mining next in this method minerals are extracted from shallow depths by removing the overlying material here shallow means little depth next it is the cheapest and easiest method of mining here cheapest means not costly Surface mining is used for those minerals that occur close to the surface. Students, in surface mining, minerals lie near the surface of the earth and extracted by removing the covering layers of rocks and soil. It is easy and cheapest method of mining. Next type of mining is underground mining. here underground mining means mining done on the extreme depth of the earth now let's start reading it is also known as the shaft mining students mark the line here other name of the underground mining is shaft mining in this method minerals are extracted from extreme depths here extreme means maximum 
it is a costlier method of mining it requires more skills to dig a shaft this method of mining is risky as poisonous gases fire etc lead to a fatal accident here fatal means deadly students underground mining is used to extract minerals from below the surface of the earth it is very expensive method of mining it requires more skillful labor and it is a dangerous method of mining because poor ventilation inside mines exposure of harmful gases heat which can cause illness injury and death so i hope students today's topic is clear to all now your homework is reread today's topic plus write terms on copy and do discuss the following on book at page number 57 and do question a b c d e and f of exercise 1 very short answer type questions and question a from exercise 2 short answer type questions thank you